好，二零一五年嘅第二条题目就系、是、有关于細胞分裂嘅。今次我哋见到呢幅图呢，有两个細胞，佢哋分别处于細胞周期嘅唔同階段。呢、这个系階段 A， 呢个系階段 B。咁呢幅图呢，我哋都见到啦，佢哋嘅基因遗传物质呢，佢哋个形态啊、外表啊都系唔同嘅。咁而家 Part A 就问啦 ，Structure X 究竟系咩嘅结构呢？我哋应该点称呼佢呢？」其实就算佢唔问 X 呢，佢咪问呢撇嘢咯。大家都系基因遗传物质啫，但系个称呼系好唔同嘅。咁所以啦，系唔系都好？有返个好習慣呢，见到啲嘢呢，就 label 咗先啦，一定冇死嘅。尤其是喺 M C， 甚至乎一啲短题，其实考緊我哋啲乜嘢呢？就係、是、考緊我哋对于基因遗传物质佢哋嘅形态啊，究竟个称呼有啲咩分别呢？咁一开始你见到 structure X 呢，佢就好短嘅，好粗嘅。而佢嘅 structure X 呢，亦都感觉上呢，係移向緊两个相反方向嘅。咁至於啦，呢、这、一個喺階段 A 嘅呢個細胞，呢一撇嘅遺傳物質係咩嚟嘅呢？散收收一撇嘢，其實就係我哋嘅染色質。啊，咁呢一啲係咩嚟嘅呢？咁其實啦，就建基於呢喺 Part B 呢一個少少嘅前奏啦，就係、是、我哋分得清 A 同 B 呢兩個細胞，佢哋分別喺咩嘅狀態。左邊呢個 cell 呢，其實就係處於 Stage A， 就係間期嚟嘅。就係、是、你見到啲染色質呢，散收收咁擺咗喺樹，而 stage B 呢，其實就分開緊啊嘛，其實就係後期嚟嘅。咁分緊嘅咩嚟㗎？其實就係染色體，又或者你講嘅染色單體。咁所以兩個答案呢，都係正確嘅。咁阿虎啦，你話我唔係答佢做染色單體嘅，我答佢係 sister chromatic， 係係姊妹嘅染色單體又得唔得啊？當然可以啦。好，跟住啦，就係到 part B 啦。佢就問返，根據返基因遺傳物質嘅外表，咁究竟 transcription 係大啲機會發生喺 stage A 啊，定係 stage B 呢？然後啦，再解釋我哋嘅答案，咁啊一分一分囉，一分就係講 stage A 或者 B， 另一分就係解釋啦。咁其實我哋已經分清楚 A 同 B 啦嘛，咁下一步我哋就去問啦，咁究竟 transcription 係幾時做嘅呢？乜嘢係 transcription 啊？就係、是、利用我哋嘅 DNA 作為一個樣板去製造 mRNA 順時 RNA 呢個步驟係對於製造蛋白質咧係非常之重要嘅。咁所以我哋就諗下啦，究竟製造蛋白質嘅呢個過程係喺邊一個階段發生嘅呢？咁喺書本都有一個好直接嘅答案啦，就係、是、間期 interface 喺間期咧，一啲新嘅細胞器啦，一啲蛋白質啦就會被製造出嚟，而個細胞嘅 size 咧亦都會變大。染色体呢亦都会複製咗，为乜嘢啊？就係、是、预备細胞分裂啦。咁所以今次嘅答案呢，就係、是、stage A。而当中啦，我哋要运用返基因遗传物质嘅外表，所以我哋就要讲返啦。喺 stage A 嘅时候，基因遗传物质就係好分散嘅，好 dispersal 分散。而 DNA 呢，亦都喺呢个状态底下呢，係可以好容易做到 transcription 嘅。好，跟住啦，就去到 part C。而家呢個 table 呢，就概括咗有絲分裂同埋減數分裂嘅兩個分別。第一個分別就係製造咗幾多個嘅 daughter cell 啦，而第二個呢，就係 daughter cell 入面嘅 DNA 嘅成分啦，個含量係幾多啦？咁跟住啦，我哋就講返個成因。咁其實成條題目呢，就要我哋比較返有絲分裂同埋減數分裂啦。而當中呢，我哋亦都要講返有絲分裂同埋減數分裂當中不同嘅步驟。同埋佢哋出嚟嘅 outcome 啦，即係出到嚟啦，究竟個結果係分裂咗兩個 daughter cell 定係四個 daughter cell 啦？究竟所產生嘅 daughter cell 入面嘅 DNA 嘅份量係雙配體定係單配體啦？咁呢個呢，我哋都要留意嘅。咁所以其實呢條題目呢，同我哋一二年嘅 essay 呢，其實係同出一轍嘅，不過呢，就短啲咁解啫嘛。咁我哋入題目咯，睇下啦，究竟點解有絲分裂會產生兩個嘅 daughter cell， 而減數分裂就係產生四個 daughter cell 啦？原因呢，就係在於究竟一個完整嘅細胞周期底下，究竟佢滅咗幾多次呢？分裂咗幾多次呢？咁我哋會發現啦，有絲分裂就滅咗一次，一開二嘅。但係啦，減數分裂呢，就係一開二，二開四，因為佢滅咗兩次。咁啊，因為有絲分裂係包含咗一次嘅 division， 一次嘅分裂。而減數分裂呢，係有兩次嘅分裂。嗱，留意下啦，由於今次係比較啊嘛。根據返全視技能，要比較就要完整比較。所以如果你嘅答案就只係講緊有絲分裂搣咗一次咋，句號咁係唔足夠你要講有絲分裂搣咗一次，而減數分裂搣咗兩次。嗱，有啲嘢呢真係差之毫釐，謀之千里。人哋要你比較，你唔比較，你咪蝕底囉。
第二啦，就係 m i t o s i s 出嚟嘅 cell 呢，佢係雙倍體，即係有兩組嘅染色體，一組阿爸，一組阿媽。Meiosis 呢，就係得一組嘅染色體嘅啫，就係阿爸阿媽呢，各自抽一啲嘅染色體呢，成為咗一組啦，就係、是、平時我哋講嘅雙倍體同單倍體啦。原因何在呢？就關鍵就係在於究竟我哋嘅同源染色體有冇 pairing up， 有冇配對，從而再被分開。因为佢哋嘅分法咧，系同有丝分裂好唔同嘅。喺减数分裂嘅时候咧，同原染色体佢哋会 pair up 咗，长长短短，跟住就一齐唰俾人分开咗。咁呢一组嘅染色体咧就会被分开，然后再斩开。咁你就会发现啦，阿爸阿妈嘅染色体咧就会被分割开啦。所以咧就会导致到出嚟嘅 daughter cell 咧就系所谓嘅单倍体啦。所以答案就系讲啦，同原染色体系会 pair up。系会做个配对，然后就会被分配去各自嘅 daughter cell。呢、这个情况就只会喺减数分裂发生，而唔会喺有丝分裂发生。因为喺有丝分裂嘅时候咧，所有嘅染色体佢哋系直接自己拉 up in the middle of the cells， 就喺中间去排队嘅啫，系冇一个 pairing up 嘅情况出现嘅。咁呢一样嘢非常之紧要，大家咧有阵时去 one cell division 咧，我都系教啲学生嘅，画一次畫一次唔夠畫兩次或者去 Miss Man 個 channel 咧，去睇下佢點樣教細胞分裂，非常之有用嘅片段嚟嘅。咁你睇翻右上角啦，我會將佢嗰段片嘅 link 咧放翻出嚟嘅。好，又嚟到一點出發啦。今次嘅題目咧就係、是、講細胞分裂。第一個路徑去問我哋嘅咧就係、是、遺傳物質佢哋不同狀態嘅不同名稱，染色體啦、染色單體啦、同埋染色質，仲有同源染色體啦、仲有姊妹染色單體啦。呢啲嘢大家係要識嘅。另一個啦，就係有關於染色體嘅行為啦。佢哋係咪分開緊咧？佢哋咪喺個 cell 中間去拉入去排隊咧？啊，呢一啲行為有咩嘅重要性咧？進行緊有絲分裂同進行緊減數分裂嘅話啦，對於佢哋嘅有性同無性繁殖又有啲咩嘅關係？有啲咩嘅重要性咧？而另一款終極嘅題目咧，就係比較啦，比較翻有絲分裂同埋減數分裂啦。正正就係之前嗰條 S 嘅題目啫嘛。咁所以啦，有成个 table 咧喺书嗰度俾晒你嘅，每一样嘢慢慢做个配对，每一样嘢系有个脉络嘅，搣几多次啦，啊有冇个 pairing up of 个 chromosome 啦，一 part 咧系逐样逐样，大家可以画一次画到出嚟嘅。Two one five question two is about cell division. So we can see from the diagram there are two cells. This cell is at the stage A of the cell cycle, and this cell is at the stage B of the cell cycle. And we can see that the appearance of the genetic materials in these two cells they are different. And part A, we need to label structure X shown in the photomicrograph. No matter it asks us the structure X or this genetic material, it can ask you to do the matching in the MC question or in the short question. No matter what, we need to have the good practice to label the structure first. So for part A, actually is checking our concept. About the appearance of the genetic materials in different stages of the cell cycle, they have different appearance and they have different name. So for the structure X, we can see that structure X is shortened and thickened, and those structures, the structure X, they are moving towards the opposite direction. And for the genetic material in these cells at the stage A, so they are so diffuse, so that's why they are the chromatin. So what about structure X is a bit related to part B of the question because we need to distinguish stage A from stage B. Stage A it is the interface, so that's why we can see the chromatin. For stage B, we can see that the genetic material they are like moving towards the opposite direction to the opposite pole, so that's why it is the interface. So what are being separated in the interface? They are the chromosome. Or the chromatid, or you can say that the sister chromatid is also okay. But beware of the singular form of the terms, not chromosome, not chromatids, but just one chromosome and one chromatid singular form. And for part B, with reference to the appearance of the genetic material, chromatin and chromosome. So at which stage A or B? Is transcription more likely to take place? And explain our answer. One mark for the stage A or B, and the other one mark for the explanation. So for part B, 
we have already distinguished stage A from stage B, stage A interface, stage B interface, and then we need to recall the process of transcription. So transcription, it means the production of the messenger RNA by using the DNA as the template. And transcription is the key stage for protein synthesis. So that's why we can, so, so this question is very straightforward because in the book, it really reminds us that, it reminds us that during interface, new organelles and proteins are synthesized, chromosomes are duplicated, and cell size increases to prepare for cell division. So you can see the key idea, protein synthesis. That's why we can see that the stage A should be the answer. And with reference to the appearance of the genetic material, we can see that the chromatin, they are dispersed or are loosely packed at the stage A. So that's why the DNA molecules are ready for the transcription, but not in the chromosome state. And then for part C, in this table, there are two differences between the daughter cells produced, number of the daughter cells and the DNA content in the daughter cells. So in this table, we need to state the cause for these two differences between the mitosis and meiosis. So that's why we are doing the comparison between mitosis and meiosis. And we need to relate the different stages of mitosis and meiosis to the different outcomes. This question is highly similar to the cell division assay in 2012. So let's take a look at the first difference. Number of daughter cells. Mitosis, there are two cells produced in one cycle. And for the meiosis, there are four daughter cells produced in one cycle. So we need to recall the number of division in one complete cell cycle. So for the mitosis, there is only one division. One cell is divided into two cells. In the meiosis, there are two consecutive division, continuous division. One cell to two cell, and the two cell divided into four cells. So that's why the answer is mitosis involves one division, while meiosis involves two divisions. So you can see that you need to do the complete comparison. Obviously, the question is asking us to do the comparison between the mitosis and meiosis. So that's why according to the synoptic skills, we need to do the complete comparison. If you only talk about that, mitosis involves one division, full stop. You are not doing comparison. You are not talking about the cause for this outcome. And for the second difference is the DNA contents in the daughter cells. The daughter cell producer in the mitosis, there are two ends. That means two sets of chromosomes, the diploid. And then for the meiosis, the DNA content in the daughter cells is one end. That means only one set of chromosomes, haploid. Two end and then half of the content, one end. So what is the reason behind that? We need to recall the process of pairing up and separation of the homologous chromosome. In the mitosis, we do not see such pairing up and separation of the homologous chromosome because all the chromosomes, they will lie up in the middle of the cells, in the equator of the cells. But for the meiosis, we can see that the homologous chromosome, they will pair up and then lie up in the middle of the cells. That means the pair of homologous chromosome here, the pair of homologous chromosome here, and then they are separate into daughter cells. You can see different genetic combination of the daughter cells. So the reason is that the homologous chromosome pair up and separate into each daughter cells in meiosis, but not in mitosis. So that's the idea you need to recall. So let's talk about the curriculum mapping. This question talks about the cell division. For the first level, ask you the name of the genetic material at different stages. Chromosome, chromatase, and chromatin. Or next time, we can ask you the homologous chromosome or the sister chromatase. And for the second level, it asks you about the chromosome behavior and any importance of such behavior on the sexual and asexual reproduction. So for example, the pairing up of the homologous chromosome and then separation of the homologous chromosome. Or the, all the chromosomes, they just lie up in the middle of the cells. So which type of daughter cell 
to reproduce. We produce the diploid genetically identical daughter cells or we produce the haploid daughter cell as the gamete for the sexual reproduction. And for the next level is about the comparison between the mitosis and meiosis. So you can refer to your textbook for the comprehensive comparison. Not only the difference, but also the similarities. Mm -hmm.